Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we're looking at the Van Moff S3 e-bike. So let's get started. So we have the Van Moff S3. And so the S3 is the full size frame. And then the X3 is a slightly smaller frame, depending on your height or depending on your body makeup. If you want to see a review of that, it was probably one of my first reviews on the channel. And it's my most popular review actually with nearly 60,000 views of the Van Moff X3. But this is the S3. Uh, what makes it different? The frame size, but also the wheel size. So this is a 28 inch wheel and it's a 250 watt front motor. Whereas with the likes of its competitor, the Cowboy, that would be a rear motor, but this is a front motor. You've got hydraulic disc brakes in the front and in the rear. Uh, and you can see there's very little cabling on it. But the bit of cabling that you see and it goes into the frame is um, for the hydraulic brakes. Otherwise, uh, this frame size, I reckon, is for people of a height of 170 centimeters to 210 centimeters. The weight of this bike is 21 kgs. It comes in two different colors, a dark and a light. So this is the dark one, which is kind of like a dark gray. And then the light one is kind of like a light blue and it's pretty much like that color there. And that was the color of the X3 that I had. You have built-in lights, they are 40 lux, and at either end you've got the front and then you've got the red. Now that just stays as a constant colour, it doesn't uh, get brighter once you press the brake paddles, uh, which would be nice. Uh, it's a one-piece handlebar system and I put the two razor rings here, uh, otherwise um, and on the handlebar, very clean. You've got uh, on the left hand side one button, on the right hand side another button. And depending on what you're doing with the bike, so that you can use this to unlock, and then when it's up and running, you can use it as the horn. But it's a digital horn, and this side then you can, uh, when it's off, you can use it to select what power mode you've got, and then when it's on, it's your turbo boost button. The actual handlebars are built in, very, the design is very minimal. A lot of people like the fact that you potentially don't even think it's an e-bike at all and there's not much branding on it. You've got the Van Moff on the actual brake elements there. You've got it on the um, crossbar, Van Moff. And then you have a bit down here then as well. You can see it's an enclosed chain system. Um, it has in, the, in there, it has a e-shifter mechanism. But moving back up to the top, down here is where you're going to have your display. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the bike. And to unlock it, you have to, you can press the one touch up here. You can use proximity on your phone. Uh, and then there's an app that will go through at the end of the review. So to unlock it, you just hold it down. And then it's up and running. And you can see the display there. And that gives you your battery. That's that battery image there and then it's blinking that it's on, and that'll give you your speedo when you're up and running. When it's unlocked then as well, it'll also uh, give a warning sign if people are starting to mess around with it. It comes up as like a skull and crossbones. Underneath is your reset button. You have your charging. So with, there's the speaker then as well for the digital bell and the alarm. Um, with the Van Moff S3, you have to bring it into charge it. There isn't a, a, a detachable battery like the likes of a maybe like a Risa Muller or a Cowboy. Um, that internal display there is a 166 LED dot matrix display and you can see it blinking away there. The battery is a 503 watt hour battery and it's down this part of the frame. The electronics are in this part of the frame on the horizontal. The um, and it can be removed for servicing but normally it would be uh, you charge it on the bike. It, uh, the charger is a 36 volt 4 amp charger and you can get 50% in 80 minutes. One piece saddle in all together. Um, and then you've got fenders on this front and rear. Mudguards, apologies. The um, built in kick lock. So around the side here, you can see, and I just kick it in, and you can hear. 
and the lock mechanism kicking off there. With the app, there's GPS, there's its own SIM card. The e-shifter that we talked about has four gears and with that in fully enclosed chain. So price at the moment for the S3 and the X3 shipping to Ireland is 2,198 euros and there is a price increase coming, they're telling us. Um, you also get a 14 day money back guarantee. So it was all online and there was issues at the start when it came shipping to Ireland because there wasn't a service centre here. Now there is a service centre here, but you just make sure that your local bike shop, if you're not near to where it is, if you're not based in Dublin, that they're happy to help you out with it. This one, when it arrived, had a flat front tyre. You can see that the valve is different on that one. Um, Joe in Dublin Love Bikes looked after me, my local bike shop. The normal valve is that nice clear one there. Um, so it's handy having that local bike shop there. The um, So there's a tamper detection, remote lockdown and smart location built into it as well. We'll take it out for a spin. Um, another element that's in it as well is that the Apple Find My Network is there. Um, and so what you have is... I think I've got a little helper here. Here he goes. Um, what you have is um, a couple of different, with that Apple Find My system or network, if you've got an Apple device or you're part of that Apple ecosystem, you can link it up with that. And the last two things I want to talk about is you have a couple of different extra services. So you've got a maintenance package and an anti-theft service, three years each. You can buy them separately or you can buy them together. And with that anti-theft package, uh, Van Moff will say that they'll find your bike. They've got a team of bike hunters uh, within 14 days or they'll give you a bike of similar value. So if your bike is a year old, they'll give you a bike a year old. If your bike is brand new, they'll give you a bike that's brand new. Um, so that's really good. As I said, the three different ways that you can unlock it, and you don't need the app to unlock it, you can press that down, and you can see it's given me, so it's a three digit code. And you can see it's unlocked there, and I've got five seconds, I need to move the bike uh, after five seconds, and then it's up and running then. So let's take it out for a spin. Uh, have you got one out? Let me know in the comments if you've already got one, what you like about your Van Moff S3 or X3. Nice bike. When I reviewed this first with the X3, I was like, oh my god, it's such an expensive bike for over 2,000 euros. But uh, obviously on my channel I do a lot more e-bikes now and there's a lot of recent Mullers and there's a lot of other different brands and you can see the price of e-bikes. So comparatively, it's actually not bad value. Uh, for an e-bike as stylish as this and as everything is built in as this the saddle can be adjusted with the just take out that bung there there's the tail light there on and illuminated so yeah overall it's a really nice e-bike there's your illuminated front light as well but very clean very crisp they are just after um announcing the pre-order numbers for the V model, which has 10,000, which is their hyper bike. This has a 250 watt motor in Europe and a 350 watt motor in US because they have different jurisdictional, different top speed limitations per jurisdiction. Let's take it out for a spin. So what's it like riding the Van Wolf S3? So with that electric gear shifter on the X3, it was a bit clunky. Whereas it seems to have smoothed it out with this version. So you're pretty much riding at the same cadence in the, the system. There's four gears inside in it. Um, but otherwise it's a very clean, nice, easy ride. And you can set the, um, the boost version or the, uh, the boost level, the power level that assists you with between zero and four. So if you don't want any assistance, you can do that beforehand in the app or you can set it up so that it changes when the um, bike is stationary but you can see there now that the uh, led matrix is much better on the black or dark version i can see there now i'm doing 21 kilometers an hour and that i've got a good 80 90 percent of battery left Great brakes, the hydraulic disc brakes are great. And it is a pedelec, so that means that you, even uh, if the bike is moving, the turbo boost button won't 
um, engage until you're actually pedaling. So if you're pedaling, then you can actually, and you can hear it kicking in there. So I have it on level four at the moment. <laughs> nice bike. You can see why people like them. No suspension, but there are big, those chunky tires in it. I probably would like a bit of suspension on it, whether it be that from the saddle or the front forks or the rear forks. But yeah, going up a hill, just press the boost button. Now, some people prefer if the boost button was left down, you could turn it on while you were cycling, just whenever you were cycling. Now, there is a pedal assist there, but that boost button is an assist to it. Definitely going up this hill here now. Really nice, really good. So top speed, it has a 25 kilometer an hour top speed assistant uh, with that four power levels. And it has 59 newton meters of torque. Range wise, depending on what, what level of assistance you're using, it will give you between 60 kilometers and 150 kilometers worth of range. And you can get an extended power bank if you wanted an extra up to 100 kilometers worth of range. Two final things I want to talk about on the review is the unboxing experience. So really clever design, packaging, it all comes in this flat box, you pull it out and with the actual, you can see it's all wrapped up there nice and tidy uh, and everything is secure. And what is really smart about this packaging is it also allows you to be able to use the packaging that's included with the box. It stores the toolbox in there uh, and you can also just make sure that you're straightening up the handlebars and it's all very simple but for attaching the front wheel that triangle box can be used to hold the wheel. So all very smart uh, in that packaging size. Speaking of smart, let's look at the smartphone app. Uh, on the bottom left hand corner there's five different sections. The one I'm after tapping there underneath the Google sign is location and when the bike gets picked up by your phone it'll show you within the proximity and you can lock and unlock it next tab along then is about the ability to track the ride uh, that you're doing on there the middle one is the setting so you can increase or decrease the power assistance there that's at number four you've got the gear shifting whether it's flat ground hilly ground you can have the lights on auto or not the three different types of bell sounds you can have waking up unlocking uh, changing unlock etc you can see how it's after finding the bike right beside me there and it goes back and then i can unlock it and everything starts to go yellow you can have an unlock code um that you don't need the app for at all you can use touch to unlock etc so lots of smart things on in there next one along then is the help section and its videos and blogs um, so if you are stuck all the answers are in there and then the last one then is the actual van Moff that you're linked through to in your profile so you can be attached to a couple of different ones you can give people the ability to ride your van Moff. you've got the apple find my section in here then and you've got then also your plan and appointment section with your local maintenance center hopefully you've enjoyed today's review of the van Moff. make sure you've liked subscribed and remember if you think an ev is for you leave it to me and i'll review thanks for watching